Уважаемые телезрители, и вновь мы продолжаем турнир ММА под номером 8. Время новых героев. Вашему вниманию заключительный бой андеркарда и третий бой сегодняшнего вечера в легчайшей весовой категории. В синий угол клетки приглашается боец из города Ташкента Шахрук Азаматов! E&M16 Butlin, and this is MMA Series 8 Time of New Heroes. Coming to you through the Google Sports Network and a Clash TV app. This is bout number three of the evening. Shot through Azamatov from Russia. He's had two fights, both losses so far, and he'll be looking to change that to winning ways here. Fighting out of the bantamweight division, he weighed in just under the limit. He'll be fighting here three five-minute rounds. For those watching at home on the Clash TV app, keep giving us your opinions. Tell us about these fighters. Do you think he can change that record up? Get his first win here this evening. Fighting here out of St. Petersburg, you can see the venue. А в красный угол клетки приглашается боец из города Санкт-Петербург. Встречайте, Ян Слепцов! And his opponent making his way down to the red corner. Ян Слепцов, also from Russia. Слепцов has a record of two wins with no defeat, so... Equal experience, but very different records. That doesn't tell us a full story because we don't know who the opponents were, the, the levels. But what we do know is that Azimatov is going to be looking to change things rounds right here. And Slepsov will really want to keep his winning record. So Phantomweight fight, three five-minute rounds. Дамы и господа, представляем вашему вниманию третий бой вечера в легчайшей весовой категории. В синем углу клетки боец, который представляет клуб Абдулин Тим. Его профессиональный рекорд состоит из двух поражений. Встречайте, Шахрух Азаматов! Вашему вниманию красный угол. Боец из города Санкт-Петербург. Его профессиональный рекорд составляет две победы. Встречайте, Ян Слепцов! Рефери в клетке Алексей Касаттин. Бойцы в центр клетки. So, MMA Series 8, Time of New Heroes. From St. Petersburg. We have Azamatov, Blue. Slips off red. Slips off, drops to his knees. Looks ready to come out fast. He kind of a sprinting start. And here we go, round number one. Lead high kick flips, slipped off to start the fight. It's Azimatov initiates the clinch and looks to go around the back. Gets the takedown and now he's in top position, side control. This is nice work. He's got the legs pinned. A great position for ground and pound. Very fast start here. Asimov looking to get the mount position. He slips off just holding on. He's trying to get the leg to go deep half guard. It goes back to the option of holding the body close. Trying to take the power out of any shots Azimatov can throw down. So he's got that lockdown there on the leg. See how he's got the crossed legs and then the foot underneath. There, Azimatov breaks the lockdown, which allows him to get past. Firing big shots in, he's got both hooks in now on the back. This is excellent work and what a great start. Fully defensive from Slepsov as Azimatov looks to get underneath. There was an arm in there, so he couldn't get the choke properly as he carries on ground and pound. Looks to switch to the other arm under. He's looking for the choke with the left arm as he powers shots in with the right. Slips off, defending. 
Doing a good job of defending, he's getting his arms up, stopping the choke. But this is a good back control position here now. Slips off, looking to use the cage. He can boost off the cage. Try to switch the position, use that power of his legs. But Asimatov, really well controlling. He doesn't want to end up on his back, and that is what's happened. So now, full guard, Asimatov. Slepsov did a good job there of getting the top position, scrambling out to the back. More hard work and will than technique. But he's on top, and he needs to make the most of this now. Asimatov looking for the triangle, looking to work those legs up. Difficult when Slepsov is posturing up to his feet in that tripod position, head in the middle of the chest, legs up. Again, Azimatov working the legs up. So the referee stopped them there, I think for a lack of action. Spinning hook kick attempt, Slepsov. Again, Azimatov closes distance quickly and gets that clinch and easily bully slips off to the floor. Gets the head free and he'll go back into a very similar position as we were earlier. Good mount, powering shots in. Professional rules here, so the elbows are allowed. He's choosing to fire punches through the guard. This is good, solid ground and palm. The referee's got to be looking on with nothing much coming back. Slepsov does a good job of trying to get back on top and he's up. Well, that's two occasions there now where Azimatov has closed distance, got clinched and just bullied Slepsov to the floor. And for a man who's 0-2 looking for his first win, I think he's definitely winning this first round. Again, Slepsov chooses to use the spinning technique. I think Slepsov actually got the longer reach, but he's not using that at all. He's, he looks completely um, sort of flabbergasted by the shots coming in. And there is the, a very weak attempt at a punch, which was countered then by Azimatov, who bullied him to the floor one more time. And this is where I think the round's going to finish with Azimatov. If he can just break that grip, maybe looking to get a finish. But... Just as I say that, Azimatov just lets his base go and is happy to, content to roll to his back. Now he's got, he hasn't got a choke there, he's not got the arm in or anything. He's just got control of the head of Slepsov. It's a strange that he let him just roll there because he had a good top position. We've seen earlier in the round that he can control that top position, work the strikes in. Maybe a sign of fatigue and tired. He has worked very hard. But I think so far this first round's been very dominant. So there we hear the whistle for the end of round one. In the replay here, we see Azimatov closing distance into the clinch. And he was getting control on the floor, working good, solid ground and pound. Here we see Slepsov. Rolling, kept rolling from his side to his front and giving up that back. Asimatov trying to use the strikes. And that was the story of the stand-up there for Slepsov, trying to use the spinning techniques, but no real success with them. And for me, a completely dominant first round from Asimatov. Look at that big overhand right, slams Slepsov back against the fence. Again, both fighters opting to sit on the floor between rounds. I prefer in MMA to be stood up and to keep my legs moving. Stop that lactic acid sort of build up. And here we go with round number two, MMA Series 8, Time of New Heroes, the Fubo Sports Network. Spinning kick, that one kind of landed, it wobbled back. 
as I'm at all. Slips off, been trying these spinning techniques, that's a spinning kick to the body. Two so far. Much more success in the start here. And this is a different round. Azimatov, I think that kick, the spinning hook kick actually landed and has done some damage because Azimatov there just dropped to the floor and it didn't look like it was the punch against the fence that did it. But here we go, this is a turn up for the Bucks. A turn around here, a slept off is on top position, slept off working ground and pound. Working from that side control position as Azimatov tries to get his knee between. Slipsoff needs to clear past that knee again. And he does. Right, effortless lazy fires ground and pound in. Lots of ground and pound. It's a leg lock attempt here. Tied up. They've got leg entanglement here. Now there's a heel hook waiting there for Slipsoff if you can see it. But instead, he drops to his back, and now we have Azimatov on top. What a backwards and forwards second round this has been. Azimatov firing in ground and pound. Slips off using that leg just to keep Azimatov back. He's taking a little bit of power out of his punches, but a lot of landing. The referee will look at him carefully because that's not intelligent defense. Azimatov gets the stoppage. And that's a good stoppage from the referee there. Although the leg was between them, it's taken a little bit of power out of the shots. There was no intelligent defence coming there from Jan Slepsov, who has just got his first defeat. And more importantly, Dokru Azimatov gets his first win here in Russia, in St. Petersburg. He looks tired, but he will be feeling over the moon there with that finish. It was a great first round for him, very dominant first round. Horrid start to the second. Бойцы на центр клетки. В данном поединке на первой минуте 50 секунды второго раунда техническим нокаутом победил боец из синего угла клетки Шахру Казамата! Fantastic win from Shokru Azamatov there. His first ever win and he will be over the moon. It was a great performance as well. As he hugs his corner. Very important these days to get your selfie, get yourself out there on social media. And here we go, the replay. So Shokru Adonatov enters the cage with no weapons against an unbeaten opponent, but he just came. He came to fight, he backed up, slipped off from the start. Had him on the floor, totally dominant on the floor from that top position. A slips off just tried to turn from mount to turtle, trying to defend the constant attacks. Now, I think it was that shot, no, it was probably a little bit later, the same spinning hook kick, it was that shot to the temple. You see there, it's better on the replay, the heel to the temple it was the biggest success that slips off had in the fight. The fair play to Azimatov. He came back to the leg lock attempt to manage to get him back on top. And then look at that solid ground and pound to finish. Fantastic win for that young fighter.